Assembly tables are used to craft advanced items such as redstone chipsets, pipe wires, and gates. The user interface can be accessed by right-clicking on it. This section on the left here is where crafting materials can be placed, and the section on the right is where you can specify which items you want the assembly table to craft. As soon as the correct quantity and materials are made available in the left area, some possible output items will appear on the right. Clicking on an output item will outline it in red, and it will instruct the assembly table to craft that particular item. Multiple items can be selected, and the one outlined in the brighter shade of red shows that that item is actively being crafted. Over time, the assembly table will cycle between the selected items. So for example here, the redstone chipset is highlighted in the bright shade of red, meaning the assembly table is currently crafting it. Once finished, it'll cycle to the next one. The vertical line in the middle displays the progress towards an item being crafted. Progress can only occur if the assembly table is being powered by one or more lasers. They cannot be powered directly by engines. Any active lasers within four blocks of the assembly table will be able to supply power to it. If multiple lasers are used, the assembly table will operate faster. However, if required, one laser can power several assembly tables, even though it might be slow. A list of energy amounts required by the assembly table for different items is available here. As soon as items are finished crafting, they'll be popped out of the interface and can then be picked up manually or with an obsidian transport pipe.